Hello, and welcome to this tutorial. In this video we will go through how to use the timer function blocks in Step 7 Somatic Manager. To add the timer function blocks we open up the timers folder. I will add one of each timer block so we can test them all out. I will start with the pulse timer first. We have to name the block with a T followed by a number. Each timer block have to be given an individual number. The S input is a boolean input that will make the timer start counting up. I will add an input from the PLC here. The input called TV stands for time value. The TV input is used to specify the duration or the time value for the timer. To set a time value we write s5 time hashtag follow by how long we want it to count for. The R input of the block is a reset that will reset the timer. The BI output is a boolean output. The BI output will be true indicating that the timer is currently running. And the last one called BCD represents the time remaining or elapsed depending on which block we use. But we don't need to set any tags on those to test it out. I will download this block to the simulator and test it out. The pulse timer will be on for the duration the timer is counting down. Then when it reach zero it will turn off itself. I will add all the four other timer function blocks so we can test them out. The S underscore PEXT timer block works about the same only difference is that it can extend the pulse duration if the input signal remains true. The S underscore ODT block will turn on after the timer counted its given value. The S underscore ODTS works same as previous one just that it stays on all the time until the reset bit is triggered. The S underscore OFFDT block will start counting once my starter input goes negative, and stay on until it counted down. I tried to add a reset bit to the S underscore ODTS block so now we can try reset it. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you liked the video give it a thumbs up and subscribe.